I really am excited about, especially Jed, like meeting y'all and seeing what makes him him and where he comes from. And yeah. he's just been really good to me and for me. And I'm it's glad. just, I'm it's been good. I mean, it, it is kind of a dreamy way to get to date someone. Yeah. And I know Jed's just another guy. But he's not. You are? The Bachelorette. Yeah. And he is a, one of the guys, so. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I know that with us it's more yeah. than that. Oh, yeah. I, I've told your son that I'm falling in love with him. Then I'm like, do you say that to all of them? No, I don't. I haven't said it to anybody else. Well. <laughs> so. <laughs> well, that's good. Yeah, so. Um, and I, I'll take that. Yeah. <laughs> um, I know he, he dated a girl for a long time. He's, I mean, he, he lived, he lived his life uh -huh. before he, before Bachelorette. He's had his heart broken. Yeah. He's been in love. He's been, yeah. You know, no, he's I, human. He's been through it all, I think. Yeah. You know, projecting towards the future and engagement, do you feel like Jed would be at a point in his life where he would be ready for that? I wouldn't have felt that way before. Mm -hmm. Just because he's a musician. Yeah. You don't get a diploma. Mm -hmm. to be a musician. Yeah. So, I mean, Jez had to, ha you know, have jobs and try to create time and space to do his music. Yeah. It's his heart and it's his soul, so. Mm -hmm. He couldn't go to work full time and do music, you know. So his path is different. Yeah. It's very different. When I asked Jed's mom if she thought that he was ready for an engagement, she said that she believed that Jed had a different path for his life right now. It definitely sets off a few alarms in my head of like, is he or is he not ready?